Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Wix Online meeting number 23. As always, these meetings are recorded for those people that weren't able to show up. Looks like we're missing a fair number of people. Uh, I'm going to blame Build. They might be a little bigger than our weekly meeting or something like that, maybe. Um, we're not going to do a lot today because, well, it turns out I think we have a fair number of bugs to triage, so we'll do that. And then, as always, if there are questions, comments, we'll cover them. Um, otherwise, we'll get you back to whatever you're doing today, like maybe watching the guy in the red shirt talk. Sound good? All right. Well, Bob, you ready to go do a triage? I am. All right. Let's go do that. Not that window. That window. Yay, look, we have nine bugs. Um, I guess I'm going to keep starting this topic. People are having a hard time spelling suppress these last few weeks. Um, yes, I'd like the ability to suppress a specific instance of ice. I've seen people write this in various ways, but they've never done it in a way that they've contributed to Wix. Yeah, this came back. Um, that's an old, old bug. Oh, it is old bug. Yeah. Someone commented and retriaged. Okay. That, sure. Nice comment on triage. We'll put it right back where it was because I don't disagree with that comment. Right? Uh, I'm not entirely sure how a regex helps, but okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I generally agree with you. It would be cool if you had this feature. Next. <laughs> yeah. It is. I mean, obviously it is because if you get a bad warning, your only option is suppress it globally. So. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, we can put it back in the open. Patch applicability does not check all installed products for non-specific patches. Uh, optimization to only check all installed products if one patch is not target specific product code. If all patches target product code, we'll only check that list. Uh, okay. Oh, this came from Heath. All right, I'm sure he has some specific case that we've we're not doing. It's a patch, yeah, a patch that doesn't validate the product code. Oh. Um, all right, so we need to improve it. Fine. Yeah. Seems reasonable. Uh, I will take it in 3X if someone wants to do it. Right? Sure. Copy file element poorly described. Okay. Duplicate files say they duplicate files are created to the associate components installed and duplicate files are removed when the thing is removed. That has a poorly word description that implies the copy files are removed when it is removed. Okay. So this is a, yeah. Okay. I so, agree. Okay. Do we want to toss it 3X or you want to toss it in? Three nine. If someone, if someone want to do it, going, going. Nope. All right. I'm with three X. Yep, three X. Heat and fits. Oh, yeah. I suppose heat would have problems with that. It does. Um. Yeah. I guess we would have to add fits because that's what we had to do before, and we had to generate backwards compatibility. And ugh. yep. Oh, yep. oh God! Yeah, I forgot. No. Yeah. Oh, backward compat. Oh, man. Yeah, all that backward compat stuff. But might add a comment to. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, yes, a FIPS thing is required because we need to think about backward compatibility implementation, which basically means, yeah, yeah, don't do this, whatever. But yeah, that makes sense to me. But that would be a problem. No message shown when run bundle with not admin privileges in passive mode. Okay. Well, the it, truth this is, is a, we don't show anything even in full UI mode, um, which is I went, I went looking for a bug because I thought we had a bug on this. I'm, I'm sure we do. I just couldn't find it. Um, basically, the problem is if if you're unelevated and you do not elevate or can't elevate, 
we kind of you know just barf all over trying to do things that we can't do. Um, oh, that's kind of weird. We do continue, don't we? Yeah. The well, I mean, we get to the first thing that's you know vital, and then fail on that. But there, I know there's a bug somewhere where basically you know we should at the very least log a better message. Um, I'm, saying that we're not elevated. And and should we fail right away? Yeah, I mean, yeah, if we elevate, yeah, right. If you can't launch the elevated process, it's not going to work. Yeah. Um. But, uh, I mean, I think yeah. the crux. I know that that bug exists. Wish I could find it. Um, the crux of this bug is that there should be, you know, UI shown. Um, you can do this today by detecting. Um, you, yep. you can cover you can cover the case uh, the common cases of you know limited user on XP or limited user with no UAC by checking the privilege property that works. Um, well, that will block you up front rather than waiting for the UAC prompt. You could also it, throw an error on the UAC prompt because it will do that too. I think. Well, yeah, yes, there are still situations that can fail, but uh, the common cases, you know, are are covered, I think, by that. Um, so the solution you provided is the right solution, because that'll get an error before they attempt to do anything, and then it's just a question of should we show a better error message at elevation, which I think we could probably do. Yes. Okay. It's probably just making sure there's a good hair error callback when that happens. Um I yeah, but I think there is. I mean if if you don't consent, then you get a yeah, what is it? User canceled install. So. Right. And then if you don't get elevation at... But they should have got elevation. Right. So this is probably Wix or BA ignoring that? No, it throws an error. I think this oh. this case here is... It was not UAC related. I mean, it's on Win 7, but... Win 7 with no UAC? No, because then it would have worked. Not for a limited user. Oh, if you create... Mm. Right. Right. Ugh. Right? Um, Eric, five minutes? Or whenever we're done here? We, we, we've talked about this. Sean, I think passive... Passive in MSI would show error messages. It would show well. It would it would like it would throw a prompt. A right. silent install won't, but passive I think allows error messages. The, it, yeah, it allows some conversation to happen. Um, I think, uh, but but Unless it's only the progress bar. I always forget that. I have to go look that up every time. A basic install will still prompt for UAC. It's just silent that says no user interaction is allowed, even simple stuff like UAC. Well, yeah, so, the, you know, Sean's pointing out that standard BA doesn't show any messages during passive, and that's possible. I, I'd have to go look at the MSI behavior to know for sure. Um, so there are a lot of different ways of solving this problem, what do we want to take away from this bug? That we should put a better error message in here? Well, like I said, there's already a bug open somewhere that says we should log for this condition. Oh, okay. From the engine. Yes, yes, definitely. And we um, should allow be you know things to yeah, handle it. Yeah, so if we want to take this bug as a, you know, which standard BA should interpret uh, yeah. That's the only well, way I, I can't I mean, 
Maybe maybe this is the engine should have its own error code for for this condition. It does. It has access denied. If it doesn't get it out, then we well, should, we could get it out. Uh, that's true. I guess if 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 we failed earlier, right? Like if if you tried to launch at apply begin, we should know if it's going to fail, right? Mm, no, you have to elevate. But well, sorry. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, yes. At, at some at the, point during apply begin. Uh, yes, yes, in the elevate calls. Yeah. If we're going to elevate, which the engine will know, and we fail to, don't keep going. Right. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. we downloaded some files here and stuff, and that's just silly. And we actually got to the point where we tried to secure the cache, which right. means we had some binary somewhere. Yeah. So uh, I think that's, I mean, that's what I would take away from this. And then, yeah, you have to show the error message and that kind of stuff, but you say there's a bug open for Wix Center BA to do that. And then there's a question of Sean pointing out that passive doesn't throw error messages even, which it might not. It, I always forget with passive, and he may, he, has oh. a, he probably says that. Passive is the, I'm doing something to your machine, but you can't do anything about it. Well, passive also means no modal. So you're right. Wix Standard BA could not block. That's for sure something that we can't do in Wix Standard BA. Right. So what's, what's, what's good behavior? Not doing this. But that's fine. Uh, sorry. And look, we yeah. exit with the right code, five, access denied. So yeah. I'd argue that this is the best you can do for passive. Yeah. Well, no, no. Wix Standard BA has done the best it can. I think the engine could have done better. Right. If the, if the engine if the engine failed fast, right. I think there's nothing to do for Wix Standard BA. Right. I mean, it just shouldn't the engine's going to log it. The engine's going to log it, and it's, it's on its part. Right. It's going to say, I need to elevate. I couldn't. Here's my error code. And it's going to be yep. access denied. And you're going to be like, oh, well, well, bummer. Although, I, yeah, anyway, we have to go figure that out. That's the That's the challenging part. So yeah, that. So I think that's the answer to this bug. So that would go along with, you say there's another bug on this. Uh, yes, again, couldn't find it, but it's on the engine side for sure. Okay, I'm fine with that. Okay, so I would vote to not a bug this. And note that we already have a bug on the issue somewhere. Right. Man, a bunch of them came in yesterday and then today. Can I carry on? Please. Is that a yes? I hear scratchy, scratchy, scratchy. I'm typing, sorry. Yes, but... but, but, but all right, well, I'm going to go look at this next bug. Okay. Heat incorrectly creates file that causes candle04 class element server attributes. So they do some self reg stuff. Good, necessary to be there. Causes heat to do these, and those are not good class IDs. Okay, so candle needs, or sorry, heat needs to handle these better. What are these standard default class IDs? Yeah, okay, fine. Fine. Um, is does the record show something that is still living? I'm sorry? Direct I don't know. Direct I mean, it's in DirectX, and they do stuff in there. I don't know. Well, lots of stuff in DirectX has been, you know, deprecated. Um, direct show was moved. Uh, sorry, where I'm getting at is, you know, th this, is, this is both obscure and finicky. Is this going to ever... You know, get fixed. 
Well, it's in heat. We have a bunch of things. If someone wanted to go fix it, they could go fix it. It's not wrong, I assume. I mean, I assume it's not wrong. I don't know much about this video capture filter stuff. I assume that's what this is. Yeah. Anyway. Not my video capture filter. Whatever it is. Uh, it's fine. I mean, it's heat. <laughs> Look, there are more things that heat has to do because the world is large. So, yeah, I, I don't know. It's heat. It's a bug. We should someone could go fix it. And if heat wasn't such a mess of a code base, it probably wouldn't even be that hard to fix in the end. But whatever. Three X, right? Open and I mean, Blair already has taken the bug, so maybe he'll go. No, Blair hasn't. I was looking to see if Blair was on the call because the person who opened the bug assigned it to Wix support. Blair needs to change his user ID. <laughs> that's awesome that's awesome well this is why I told him not to get that name so yeah. kind of deserves it <laughs> everything, everything I told him he's going to confuse people and he's like well it's the same name and I was like shouldn't do it <laughs> a generic name <laughs> a generic name that sounds like something useful yep alright 3x open Bootstrapper does not work after Insignia. Attached container... Er, didn't we just have a bug on this? No, this one's different. Trying to sign the BA. It doesn't matter if it's signed before or after engine signing. I don't understand why that matters. But after I sign the whole installer, it broke with the next error. Cannot find. This is. Uh, I swear we have something where we have prompt of source not working for attached containers or something. Well, why would he be getting a prompt for source from an assigned, from a signed bundle? I don't know if that. It, uh, sorry, I don't know that that signing matters in this case necessarily, or if it's the retry. You know, and they already had it installed or something. And I think our prompt for source, we had a bug open where prompt for source for attached containers, well, that was weird, um, is not working or something, right? Where it was trying to find the original XE and not finding it. Uh, Did we just do okay. that last week? Uh, I, yeah, sure, I guess. I don't remember. Um, Isn't there, sorry, I saw this as, as he did something in signing that dropped the attached container. And that's why I went looking. Yeah, but I don't think that you'll get, you can do that, but I don't think you get that error message. Oh, okay. All right. Um... I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Well, my original inclination is that this is something that should start on Wix users anyway. Oh, yeah. You're right. That is. That's why we're having such a hard time with this book. You're right. Sorry. Yeah. You, you are absolutely right, Bob. Do that. Kick this back to Wix users and say yes. And then we can go, oh, that, 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 that. We have a bug on that. Or... I have no idea what that is, but you've now provided us enough law in logging, which this isn't quite, but maybe it is, I don't know. And we don't know what's going wrong. Yes, you're right. That's what it is. Done. User, log on as batch, just like log on servers, but log on as batch. Oh, sure. This is the most succinct bug report ever, or feature request. <laughs> feature request. And it makes total sense to me. Yep. I, assuming yeah, I lo assuming log on as batch job actually exists, which I'm, I'm going to assume it does. <laughs> um, yeah, that. Actually, you know what? Oh, you know what? I saw a pull request for this come this through. Is, yeah, yeah. Oh, and I think I just saw a contribution request come through for this, too. All right, this yeah. guy may actually get his whole thing in. 
cool. All right. So, yeah, I'm totally fine with that. Um, we would take it in 3x if he wanted to do it. As long as it was done compatibly. Uh, so let's add that comment. Let's open it in 3x and say if he wants to, that, you know, we noticed all stuff. If he's willing to do it, we could bring it into 3.9. Sounds like a plan. V6 package would not install for Microsoft Visual Studio 2013 Express. For yeah, you can't install V6 as an Express. Uh, we support VWD. It wasn't clear to me whether that was something general or something that was Microsoft specific. Because Microsoft can extend the Express skews all they want. They, they have some magic thing they can do that says, yes, you can install extensions or these extensions. I mean, they have controls on that. We don't have right. control over that. Right. So, Is yeah, my failing? question. It just doesn't find it. Well, There's... yeah, that's exactly the behavior. We install it, and Visual Studio goes, no. No, no, no. It... No? What? The VS extension has locators for... DevEnv and VWD does not have a locator for uh, WDX. Oh, I see. Oh, we don't have a locator for this? Correct. Okay. Uh, fine. I mean, we could add that. It's, it's not going to help them if you can't. I mean, but I, I'm, I'm all for completeness. Um, if we know, especially since that's just a couple of reg keys, right? So, I mean, or yeah. whatever it is. So, well, it's a little, it, uh, it's a little weirder. I think the person who did that work was a little weird. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Subtle. Because what the issue? The, well, the, the issue is how it handles when you have multiple app IDs on the machine. It looks like it. Well, I don't remember. It, it looked weird. It's like it, it we, I mean, we have this problem where it's like find, you know, find the latest version. Yep. But I don't think it handles the case. So if you have multiple expresses or something? If you have, well, I don't know. That's, it, it, I, I looked at it for like 30 seconds to see if the locator was present and pretty much that was it. Um, I wasn't sure how it handled the case when you have multiple app IDs and then the question is, how would it handle multiple Express app IDs? So, I guess it would have to try to do everything, but I think because I don't know if there's. I know the V6 manifest lets you target multiple SKUs, or uh, I don't know if it actually lets you target multiple SKUs. It lets you target at least one SKU. Um, I'm just not sure if the v6 authoring side of wix is you know like tells you what to target and if that's passed down to the custom actions so, anyway I, I'm, I'm like if if the general public can't use this i'm actually not in favor of completeness let microsoft you know handle its own problem there Primarily because I, I don't know I, I don't I don't know how you know the V6 stuff works so I don't want to just you know add it and pray it works. Yeah. Right, because we'd never be able to verify it. go we basically accept the premise of this bug that that is true um, it, it is true sure um, 
It's just, I'm not sure what to, uh, I, I'm fine with opening the bug. I'm just not sure what we're going to actually do with it. I'm just... David, 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 David. VWD 2013 V6 install root property is that. That actually looks okay. Oh, maybe not. Yeah? Oh, VWD. VWD. Right. Not WDX. Right, not WDX. This is VWD. I don't know. V6 installer path. Yeah, it's searching for, oh, that's what it's doing. It's searching for the newest one, anything it can find. And it found VWD on his machine from the looks of it. Okay. And it did the install, and then it didn't show up. I think that's what happened, because it set this, it set the install route correctly. which means it found something on the machine. And you are, I think you're correct. If he didn't have VWD on the machine, this would fall through, and then he'd have nothing. And then this custom actuator would fail. VW set VS 2010 V6. Uh, maybe this is actually where it's at. Yes. Yeah, this is the fall through your fallback you're talking about. Yeah. Well, and the custom action is failing. It is? Yeah. 1721, when it tries to run the, the oh, VC okay. install. The XE fails. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah. I, I think we should open it, and it basically comes down to we don't support uh, VWD. Express, or it's not VW. We don't support Windows Desktop Express, and we'll go from there. Um, and they could add support for it if they want to do it, or someone could do it, um, and continue to work through. I think because it's not wrong, and it would work if you had all those other things correct. Okay. And it's just one more Visual Studio SKU that we don't handle in this space, which isn't that surprising. Because it came along late, and we actually shipped, I think, 3.7 before this even this SKU existed, and we probably didn't get to it when we did 3.8. Mm, yeah, it came out between 3.6 and 3.7. Yeah. So, anyway. Okay. Cool. So, I think that's it. Um, Eric asked a question about... Um, finding easily known bugs or the easy bugs. Did you want to talk about that, Bob? I think it's a great idea. <laughs> and we're still trying uh, to come up with the best way to do it. Yeah. Uh, basically, yeah, I, what we want to do is uh, provide an easy way for someone who wanted to go in and uh, you know, Get, get into Wix for the first time. Perfect way to, to go about it would be, you know, a, a doc bug. Um, you know, there, there are some compiler bugs. Compiler is pretty easy to get into. Um, and there are bugs that you would not want to take on as, you know, your first thing. Um, like linker and binder bugs. Some burn bugs are okay. Some burn bugs would be challenging. Um, so forth. Uh, so, yeah, Rob and I have talked about somehow tagging the bugs. Um, right now, we don't have an easy way to tag the bugs and then, you know, search on the tags, but 
what we could do is, you know, kind of go through it and build up a list and, oh, I don't know, notepad, and uh, just keep track of, of easy bugs that way. And we can put it up on, on wixelset.org. So, you know, there's a nice community page to go look for uh, for new stuff. Yeah, and, and do it. part of the thing I liked about, you know, we could put it up on the Wix tool set, and then one of the things I like about is the, you know, we can start scratching them off and giving people names of, here, here was an easy bug, and someone took it, um, you know, and people can point and laugh if I take all the easy bugs, but if we get new people that take the easy bugs, then we can say, hey, look, this person did that. It's a little easier. The problem with, you know, actually doing it on the bug tracker is that when you do fix a bug, um, <laughs> it goes away, <laughs> like, which is the whole purpose of it. So it's harder to kind of go, hey, yeah, that was awesome. Good job, you know, person that did all that work. So I'm inclined to put it somewhere um, that people, you know, can see it, and then we can kind of, for a while. So we're thinking probably a documentation page. Um, and we'll, we have some ideas that are early thinking. So... Um, I think next week we'll probably dig into some more thoughts about getting people, more people involved and stuff like that. I just didn't spend enough time this week to write down a lot of the ideas I had <laughs> and send them out to the Wix steps, but things like that, like this documentation one. So let's, I'm going to try to get that done for next week. Cool. Anything else? Any other questions? Anyone want to? Anything else out there? Things are looking all right. We have a couple of bigger pull requests that we need to go pull through. I know that, but things are looking okay. Um, the official oh, the official build. Uh, thank you for asking, Sean. The official build uh, is all ready to go, and the only problem it's having is um, it's failing to sign the bits. It looks like everything else works just need the signature service from Outer Curve to um, appropriately take our build and things like that. So I'm working with Eric, um, or was working with him earlier this week, trying to figure out what the deal was with that, and he and I need to hook up so he can look up on his machine. So it looks like everything works. It's just not working on the real build machine. So the fact that Eric can't repro the issue isn't helping. <laughs> um so anyway, uh, but otherwise I was really pleased. I've got it, the whole build machine up and running and happy in the new world like with GitHub and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah. All right, we're going to take that. Uh, we're about half hour in, so I think we'll call that good. with a whole bunch of bugs this week. Um, unless there's anything else going, going, gone. All right, cool. Uh, maybe Eric and I can go kick around the, the build server for a bit. We'll see what he does. And um, we'll um, talk to you guys next week, right? Wow. Right? Yes? Sounds good. All right. Have a good time. Later. Bye.